Hello, my name is Naturella, and this is a day in my life of quarantine. I decided to film some random things in my room that I thought looked cool. I woke up really late today, but it's all good. Then this is me brushing my teeth. My little sister Nevaeh came in to say hi. I attempted to make some fluffy pancakes, but it was an absolute fail. So I tried again and they turned out really good. I was so proud of myself. This is me going on a walk with my little sister. I looked like a grandma with my babushka on, but this is me filming her and she got really annoyed. The sky looked so pretty, I couldn't get over it. And then she tried to hit me with a basket. We got the rest of our siblings and we all went on a bike ride together. It was super fun. And then I almost fell because I was trying to film. When we got back home, we played some ping pong with my sister's boyfriend and it started pouring. So this is my brother getting super annoyed because he had to get into the rain. Then it was sunny again and this is me admiring the sun because it felt so good. This is my beautiful mother cooking us lunch. Then my little sister asked me to film her because she was going to do something crazy. And we did some boring homework. Then we watched a movie. Look how beautiful Leo is. Finished my night off with a book. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye. <sighs> how I miss the outside. Just kidding. I got all I needed here. Manga. A lot of manga. Also, I got my PC. Look, full fans are running. That's what it's about. And look at all this amazing content that I've got right in the palm of my hands. You know, we have online classes. We're chilling. Uh, what else? Social interaction. I'm an introvert anyway, so it doesn't matter. Besides the fact that this is a huge global crisis, and hopefully everyone's doing their part in social distancing and flattening the curve so that the impact of this huge, massive global crisis is lessened, everything's fine. It's uh, just tiring. I just do the same thing every day, doing homework, which is sometimes a lot, by reading and talking about precious time. I think I've played the same amount of hours of video games in uh, four days that I have played in, I don't know, more than two weeks, pretty much, which is a lot. Now, nah, you see. During this whole crisis, I've been bored, but I've been productive with other things I wasn't able to do when there was school, and I've definitely started focusing on myself more, although now I'm being productive with my work. Also, as cliche as it sounds, I honestly feel like this pandemic was also to give Mother Nature a break from society because we are the sole plot problem to global warming, etc, etc. It's a fresh cleanse, as you can say. I found out that in Venice, Italy, the iconic romantic city with the little boats, due to people um, in self-quarantine, their canals and waterways are becoming crystal clear. You can see the little fishes and the swans that are back um, to float on them. I think that's so cool. It's also really sad because it's like, it's proof that we ruined the ecosystem, but it's cool like to find out, you know? I hope I don't end up getting a PDF of my diploma. But yeah, these are my thoughts. I just wish senior year would end on a good note. Oh my gosh, how cheesy. <laughs> okay, that, that, thank you. Uh. <laughs>
I'm just stuck here hoping for the best. And an A. Thanks, Mr. Boyd. Good morning. I'm sorry about my messy hair. It's early in the morning, but I'm really tired. And I just wanted to make a vlog during my quarantine. Hello. And my name is Natalie Sanchez. Usually in the morning, I Zoom my classes and see what I need to do uh, for the day and review what they assigned us to do. And this is my English class talking about like water for chocolate. I always say hi in the morning to everyone at the house. You guys are quarantined together. Appreciate what the time you have with your family by saying good morning, by saying hi. I also have a dog. And I love my dog, so I always say good morning to my dog. His name's Toby. This is Toby. So, yeah. Um, this is just my little small excuse to go outside and breathe in that fresh air. Just for a little bit and just right outside, not that far from my house. So, get that fresh air. Please wash your hands. What I eat? Um, there's quesadillas, rice, eggs, sopa de fidel con frijoles, um, iced tea. My cousin comes eat with me she's my eating buddy here and then i just start doing homework guys i can actually take naps now super soothing take naps <laughs> just because of social distancing doesn't mean you can't see your friends say hi Hello. after i finish most of my work i kind of reward myself with a little netflix so that's what i'm doing then i just turn in some work i need to turn in and that's my day so thank you for watching good night what up my barristers it's me cameron right now i'm walking in the neighborhood it's about 4 p.m basically this is me and my mom just walking around trying to find lunch on the third day of our lock first thing we did was walk by the eagle rock plaza the parking lot looks kind of empty but the inside is even more empty there's nothing in there so we didn't get anything from target but we walked by this really cute puppy outside of a nail salon a lot of people were running in and out of boba time which was kind of surprising to me especially because it's so tiny and compact anyways we proceeded to downtown eagle rock where there were a lot of stores that were closed or only doing takeout even t-mobile was closed i was kind of surprised about that but what i was more surprised about was just how many open parking spots there were it's usually completely packed went to Walgreens and we didn't plan on buying anything but we wanted to see if there was any toilet paper and what do you know there was none not even paper towels so instead we decided to turn back towards the direction of my house and stop at this place called Spitz where there was not even one person in sight other than the cashier so we got our food pretty quickly and got home within a few minutes and this is what my food ended up looking like really delicious really good I do recommend it but yeah, that was my day out. Hopefully everything gets solved soon and we're all healthy and yeah. What's up, Mr. Boyd, Barristers, Dr. Garcia. I'm not sure who's gonna see this, but this is my quarantine vlog. It's an assignment for Campus News. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Respect. It kind of reminds me of that one quote by Einstein where he says, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. That's basically what the DNC is doing. That's, that's what the Democrats are doing. They're just running Hillary 2.0. Centrism is not going to win over the Rust Belt. I mean, I'm probably going to vote for Biden, but I know a lot of people are probably not going to vote for Biden. All right, but if anyone could let me know how we're supposed to take the AP exams, I would really appreciate that because I'm kind of confused about AP classes. I haven't really noticed that many people walking. It's mostly people in their vehicles. There's some people at the park, but not as many as there usually are. Thanks for watching. It's been a good time with you guys. I hope you guys have a good quarantine break. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. It's, it's nice and cool down here in Glatzel. I'm having a sweet time. Uh, let's see, shout out to the GOAT, Mr. Boyd. Rafa on camera. Chudiwa, we got Leah on deck, Maya, you too, Jill for editing, Jasmine for editing, the whole crew. And no, this is not hazardous what I'm doing. So, good times. Stay safe out there. Uh, I don't know. And have fun. Hey guys, it's me, Camelia, talking from quarantine. I still can't believe that this is real, but it is. And hopefully it will end soon. Homeschooling is harder, harder 
than it looks. So what have I been doing, you may ask? Good question. Well, some of the amazing things I've been doing is homework, binge watching and catching up on sleep for sure i needed that catching up with rosa exercising and leading a healthy lifestyle okay maybe not that much most importantly i have been preparing for an at-home quarantine prom that is something i hope will not happen but just in case wash your hands Clean yourselves, protect yourselves, and stay safe. Hello, welcome to my vlog today. This is day one of COVID-19 quarantine. And today I'm going to be showing you and telling you what I've been doing. I don't really feel scared or anything. Even though people are freaking out in their homes, my experience right now is just staying at home and keeping clean. What I have been doing is just hanging out with my family and watching movies or shows on Netflix, listening to music, and playing some video games with my friends online. What I've been thinking about and feeling is just being sad and being bored because there isn't really anything to do. And on top of that, my parents don't even let me go out, so I'm just drained from boredom and from all of the assignments my teachers have given me to do in a day. I do think it's cool because of the history we're making right now and stuff, but like, I just want to stop being bored. Thank you for watching my vlog. Bye. Hi, my name is Isabella. So I want to give everyone a little inside look on day in the life of quarantine is like for me. So I hope you guys enjoy. So normally for school, I would wake up at 5 a.m. But since we don't have school, I'm starting to wake up at 7. So the first thing I did was went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth. So usually I then head downstairs and I start to make my breakfast. So on this day, I made myself some Nutella toast and some hot chocolate, which is pretty good. I then go upstairs and I clean up my room. I then go on Schoology and look for any new assignments if my teachers have posted. And at 10 every day, I wake up to go on my Zoom session for AP Cal. Then after that, throughout the whole day, I just usually just work on all my assignments to get them done. And then after that, I go on Netflix to chill for a little bit, um, so I won't overwork myself as well. After I finish all the assignments for the day, I either go to sleep or I just hang with my brother and spend time with my dog. So for the last few days, I've been ending my day just on a FaceTime call with my little cousin and my aunt. And we usually just do that to check up on them and make sure they're okay. Hi guys, it's Mr. Boyd. I'm about three miles into a 27 mile hike in Griffith Park and I need water. Remember to bring water. Trusty Steed, otherwise known as Lucy. I don't know if you can see the breath issuing from my face, but we're, we're like 13,000 feet. There's Los Angeles behind us. We're practicing social distancing. Wish us luck. Like a sledding dog. Is this thing on? I'm experiencing altitude sickness of about 15,000 feet. The observatory is behind me. It's about two miles in the sky. Uh, I'll be pressing on. So as you can see, it's 12 miles to go to the Hollywood Summit. I'm no math expert, but that's 12 miles. It's been hours since Lucy and I have seen any human being. Don't mind that person up ahead. I'm in the last mile since when I last checked in with you at the 12 mile marker. I'm almost to the top of Mount Hollywood. I never knew what a journey this would be. Water. Oh, oh, there you go. oh. Uh oh, hit Mount Hollywood's that way. What? Sir, how did you get here? <laughs> Just walked up. No, this is a helicopter. You got up here by a helicopter. No, no, no. I just there's a there's a trail there. I just walked up. You can tell me the truth. 